Hello guys, welcome back. I am Yusuf Shakil, and in this video, I'll show you how to use CodeMirror, a versatile text editor in your web projects. So let's get started. Step 1. Download CodeMirror. For this, we have to go to CodeMirror.net and get the current version. So click on this download link and you should get the CodeMirror.zip file. Step 2. Download jQuery. For this, visit jQuery.com and click on this download jQuery button. Scroll down and download the compressed production jQuery 1.12. Now create a new folder and name it CodeMirror. Now open this CodeMirror folder and create some subfolders like JS, CSS, and plugin. So we create a JS folder. Create a CSS folder and a plugin. The JavaScript will be stored inside the JS folder and the CSS folder will contain all our style sheets while the plugin folder will contain all the downloaded CodeMirror files. Now put the CodeMirror.zip file that we downloaded earlier inside the plugin folder and extract it. You can rename this as code mirror and remove the zip file. Now put the jQuery file inside the JS folder. You can rename this as jQuery.main.js. Well, now it's time to write some codes. So for this tutorial, I'm using Sublime Text. Now feel free to use your favorite text editor or IDE for this project. It won't make a big difference. But if you're interested in Sublime Text, you can download it from their website. I'll put the download link in the description. So let me just go ahead and open this CodeMirror project folder in Sublime Text. Now let's go ahead and create an index.html file inside the CodeMirror folder. New file, Control S or Command S and write index.html. All right, let's go ahead and quickly write the basic HTML structure. Now we'll create a text area inside the body tag. Let's give it a class code mirror text area. Now this text area will be used by the code mirror text editor. Now we need to include the code mirror stylesheet file in the head tag. This you can find in plugin, code mirror, lib folder, and this is the code mirror.css file. So we write link and in the href 
plugin code mirror lib code mirror dot css now we'll include the jquery file which we have inside the js folder so before the end of the body tag we can include our js files so i'll write java and in the src js jquery.min.js now we'll include the code mirror.js file which we can find inside the plugin code mirror lib code mirror.js so after this jquery we'll include the code mirror js so we write src plugin code mirror lib code mirror dot js all right now we'll create a default dot js file inside the js folder this file will contain all our javascript code that we are going to write in this project so let me just go ahead and create a new file inside the js folder and save it as default.js now inside the index page we need to include the default.js file that we created so for this let's go ahead and write script tag inside the src we'll write js default.js and we'll save the file it's time to write some javascript so we move inside this default.js file and since we are using jquery so we need to write this document dot ready function and all our code will go here now we need to get the text area we created in the index page this one having the class code mirror dash text area so for this we have to write var code equal to code mirror text area now this will take this text area and to get the editor we create another variable var editor equal to and we call code mirror from text area function this function takes two parameter one is the text area that we have saved in the code variable so we write code and it takes another parameter as an object for this tutorial we'll pass numbers it's a boolean so we'll set it to true and we'll save this so this is actually a settings that we are passing to this from text area function of code mirror so let's save this file and to see the code mirror in action we just have to open the index file so there we have our text editor and you can write hello world or you can write html code or you can write 
this is a using code mirror and to give you a live production example let me take you to my website dyclassroom.com this page html editor is using code mirror to generate this text editor and this page allows a user to enter his html code and click this run button to get the output so let me just go ahead and put this sample code in this editor and by clicking this run button I can get the output and I can also change the output by hitting say hi click the run button you get the output or I can write some style say h1 say blue so click the run button it's blue or if you want to set it to red red so this is a live example of code mirror in action and by the way dy classroom is my website where I'm putting and posting all my tutorials that I put on my YouTube channel so all my sortings and searching algorithms are there graph everything so feel free to check this website out and this brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope you guys have found this video really interesting and helpful and i'm looking forward to hear from you guys please share your thoughts in the comments below how you are planning to use code mirror in your coming projects or if you have already used code mirror or using it in your current project then do share your experience with us all and if you have any suggestions regarding my youtube channel all my videos please write your thoughts i really love to read your comments all right then this is me yusuf shakil signing off and i hope to see you again soon in my next video till then stay happy and keep smiling bye